Hi, this is Brent with Studio One Expert and in this third video of this free four part series looking at the Waves Creator Toolkit for content creators, we're going to be looking at the Playlist Writer. Now, Playlist Writer is a plugin that you want to put on your master fader and the reason for this is it listens to all of the different audio tracks that are within the actual digital audio workstation and creates a balance between all of them. So if you have, say, different voiceovers, which we have three here, and maybe even things like intro stings, it's going to level them out. And that way you have a nice, consistent, say, podcast that people can listen to without going, oh gosh, that section was really loud and it really hurt my ears. And then they reach for the volume knob in their car and really slam it down. And they keep having to do that throughout the podcast. So if you want to make a more pleasurable experience for people to listen, Playlist Writer can really take care of that and make the job super easy. So at the start of the uh, recording here, we have an interesting, then we go into three different types of voiceover. So what Playlist Writer can do is it can actually apply tonal character. Tonal character, what it does is it sort of matches the EQ and characteristics of all of the different voiceovers and tries to blend them into one so that you don't have, say, a standout voiceover or a really bad voiceover. They're all just sort of equal. And as well as that, it does a gain volume automation, a bit similar to Vocal Rider, which we've seen from Waves. And what it does is when we set the detector threshold on the side here, it will determine how much the gain changes based on what it's hearing being fed into the actual plugin. So let's just play and have a look at how all of this actually compares to before and afters. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176, and, you know, Fairchild and so on? Yep, exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically do it with whatever type of compressor you would want to use. Yeah, I agree. But also, I think that you should talk about different ways that you can learn these skills and... So, as we heard, at the start there was an interesting, it was quite loud. Then we went in with vocal, which was sort of like quite nicely balanced. And then the further two vocals were, one of them was sort of a little bit quiet in the middle, and the last one was a little bit too loud. So, Playlist Rider will just get rid of all of these issues. So, let's take it out of bypass. And what we'll do is, we will adjust the detector threshold to begin with, and that will show the gain moving here on this uh, slider. So, let's have a listen to what that does, and have a listen to how it affects the before and after. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176, and, you know, Fairchild and so on? Yep, exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically do it with whatever type of compressor you would want. So when I adjust the yeah, detector I threshold, agree, it means also, that the gain that compensation will change depending on what it's hearing in the track. Learn these skills and apply them in real-world situations rather than learning how you, sh you should learn why it's so what you can also do is pick a target LU or LKFS in the middle here. This is dependent on the sort of um, streaming platform or playback system that you want it to be on. So we'll leave on minus 18 here because most things end up on either Apple Music or Spotify and they both have a slightly different target LKFS, LUFS. So we'll leave on minus 18, but what I want to show you is the difference between tonal character on and off and the attack parameter. So the fast attack I'm going to have on for this track because I want the gain to quickly change depending on what it hears. You would probably want a slow attack for something more like a, a DJ set or something where you don't want to be super quick transitions between volume level, but let's leave it on fast and let's just lastly have a listen between the tonal character on and off. It's also worth mentioning before we do that, if you're going to load, you do get some factory presets here to take away even all the guesswork and just apply it to say you're going to upload it to Spotify, YouTube or Apple, etc. You can just select these presets and it'll do the work for you more or less. So let's have a listen lastly to the tonal character balance between these voices. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176, and, you know, Fairchild and so on? Yep, exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically do it with whatever type of compressor you would want to use. Yeah, I agree. But also, I think that you should talk about different ways that you can learn these skills and apply them in real-world situations rather than learning... 
So as you can hear, the playlist rider is giving us a nice overall balance and the tonal character is subtle, but it just gives everything a little bit more of a warm bodied sound so it's not so harsh on different playback systems. So stay tuned for the last video where we look at the WLM Plus plugin. <laughs> 